we're going to talk a little bit about biosecurity. Of course, I've been really fortunate to be not only a dairy goat producer, but also a veterinarian. Over the years, people have asked me, how did I come about learning about different diseases in animals and in, particularly in goats? I said, well, because we killed enough of our own in the process that we learned that when they died, we found out what they were about. But anyway, we're going to talk a little about herd biosecurity. Everybody has got to be comfortable in their own herd of what they will allow and not allow. There is not a farm that doesn't have some kind of germ, whether it's a, a staph infection, whether you get mycoplasma and you're young every once in a while, uh, whether you get some foot rot, but there some, are some major diseases in goat herds that we don't want, and also some in, in sheep. First of all, when you, if you're buying breeding stock and breeding them in, bringing them into your herd, the couple things that I like to know is where these animals come from, the source from, farm, what is their biosecurity protocol? And usually I just up front ask them, what's your biosecurity protocol? And if they say, what's biosecurity, I know that I'm not gonna get an animal from them. But you want at a minimal for dairy goats, you like for them to be CAE, which is caprine arthritis encephalitis free. You want them free of caseous lymphadenitis, or people call it CL, or they call them abscesses. Abscesses, you can get them most of the time after the animal or a year of age. These abscesses, though they may rupture, they contaminate the environment. They also have it for life. They will come back later on. They'll contaminate the rest of your herd and your soil. Uh, CL is not anything that I want to deal with at all. Um, now, some people say, well, I got to have those genetics. Well, if you got to have those genetics, if it's a if it's a buck, then have him collected and get get semen from him. You don't need a, a buck running out with your does. You don't need a ram running out with your ewes that got CL because your ewes will eventually will get it from the male. And in um, we have across the country a scrapies program. Everybody should be registered in the scrapie program to prevent scrapie, which is an, uh, a severe neurological problem in, in sheep and goats. Uh, but our, our biggies are CL and CAE. Uh, when I have visitors to come to our herd, well, I always like to find out if they've gone to another goat herd before coming here. And I think if you're going out and visiting somebody's herd out of respect for their animals, make sure you change clothes after doing chores in the morning time put on a clean pair of shoes, because uh, you don't want to take anything from your herd to their herd, and then vice versa, bring it back to yours. As a veterinarian, I go out and see a lot of sheep and goats, and routinely, when I come home at night, I'll take a shower before I ever go out in the barn where our animals are. And also, we have a policy here that no outside animals that are sheep and goats are allowed into to our barn. Uh, when you work hard and build up a, a, a good genetic base, you don't want to get a disease problem where you have to start all over again. Uh, some other things I worry about if I go to a farm and see where they've got, a, particularly on sheep, where they have a lot of problems with foot rot. You see all the ewes out limping out in the pasture and the rams are hard to get up. As, a, as someone that deals with a lot of sheep, you don't want to bring in that foot rot bacteria into your farm. Now, there's a lot of foot rot that's not truly contagious, but yet any foot rot can be an issue. Uh, so those are the big things that I, I think about on biosecurity, you know, due to the other farms that you visit, what you want them to do to your farm. Uh, not everybody is as quote unquote anal as we are about keeping diseases out, but at the same time, you don't want to, to have problems, because if you do have problems, I'm going to come out in the long run anyway, because you're going to have to call a veterinarian to, to treat some problems. So the less calls you have to me about sickness, the better we all are going to have, and we have a good preventative program. So 
Anyway, that's my thoughts on biosecurity.